Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me. If you've been here before then thank you for coming back. If this is your first visit then thanks for giving me a shot. So I'm off to Ribblehead Viaduct. It's been something I've wanted to get to for a while. And now's my chance. That was a little bit of a shock, that hill. <laughs> so the roads are quite slippy. And with it being autumn, there's leaves on certain parts of the road, so you've really got to be careful. And our good old friends, the farmers, have been putting mud and shit all over the place, so it's a bit slippy, so... Taking a little bit more care. So we're taking the back roads to Barnard Castle. I keep mentioning it in a lot of videos, but I use Kalimoto. I get the free version. So you can't have the ultra twisty uh, roads, but that doesn't matter because the medium twisties are great. Just make sure you've got a power source for your phone if you're using it, because any GPS app will drain your battery quite quick. So here we are entering Barnard Castle. Apparently quite good for an eye test around here. This is typical of so many market towns. The layout. The market would be in the where all the cars are parked. It's the old castle, that Barnard Castle. It's one of the prettiest times of the year to bright with all the colours on the trees and on the uh, bushes and everything but it's also probably the worst because of what gets dumped on the roads but isn't this just amazing this countryside this is what you've got not too far away from the northeast of England an hour and a bit and you're into all of this Heading west towards Cumbria. This road is just beautiful and the scenery it's in. think of this. It's a shame about that wind. Let's get a little photograph. There we go. A couple of pictures. looking at me thinking what a tit
of that road ahead. Amazing, and that scenery. Absolutely outstanding, this place. Amazing scenery. And to think people live up here and work up here, they must be made of tough stuff. Respect. Woohoo, that's going to be fun. 20% hairpin. The cattle grid and the Ford. Uh, not keen on Fords. It's not too deep. Or too slippy. Feels quite deep. Now it's got a boot full of water for fun. Waterproof on the outside, but not when it goes in over the top. Ugh. this road. <laughs> it twists all over everywhere. There's a lone car down there. Grid coming up, more stones. Now that is spectacular, that view. As far as you can see that way, hills and valleys, and exactly the same on the other side. That's <laughs> beautiful. No other word for it, spectacular. Crackpot. What a name for a place. I think I should live there. Here we are at Mooka. I think this is where they filmed the oh, Yorkshire farm or something. Not entirely sure. Sheeples. Hello, little friend. Well, we're very high up and it's bloody cold. Whoa. Very, very cold.
look at that view. It's a shame it's so windy. That's a drop and a half. Definitely food for the soul, this scenery. This would be an absolutely awesome road. I noticed the sign on there was saying take care because uh, people have been killed on this road, sadly. See why sports bikes love it. weather with the wet and the gravel everywhere it's uh, not going to be a fast road just beautiful and imagine what it would look like with the sun lighting it up instead of these grey clouds blown all over the place up here <laughs> very windy is 
Just go ahead and ride it. Head. Made it. So, mission accomplished. Visited Ripple Head. Tick. Wish it was a nicer day. Would have had a walk up there, maybe eat my lunch there, but I'm going to find somewhere a bit more secluded less people and park up and have a cup of tea and sandwiches 